Lewis for Blagsound.com. We are here with Dan and Jesse from IC Ones who are about to play HMV's next big thing at the borderline. Guys, how are you doing? Very well today, thank you, Lewis. Good stuff. I'm Jesse? good, I'm good. A bit tired, I've been here since two. A bit tired? Are you going to be all right tired. for the set? I don't know, I might go to sleep on stage. Have, to, have a little kip on stage? Bottom of my finger. I'm doing bit, bit alternative. Ah, that's all right. That's no, all right. So we, always, so we always turn him down anyway. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no. Mine. Just mime. Just mime, yeah. All right, well, 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 mime we'll is money. Mime, mime is money, there you go. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Set him up. But um, okay, so uh, so boys, you've been uh, you've been going from strength to strength recently. You know, you've had um, you've had a lot of sort of uh, quotes from you know people who should know in the music industry. You know, Alan McGee. You had your uh, your record released on uh, Twenty Five Hour Convenience Store, which is Gary Powell's label. Yeah, so Gary. What's it like to get you know a, a nod from sort of people like that, and uh, and how did it all come about in the first place? Um, well, what it's like is obviously growing up listening to Oasis and stuff like that. Alan McGee was, was just as famous as them at one point, so for him to come around and like say that we're the next next Oasis in a way, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's all right, I suppose. Bad. Better than a kick up the arse. A little bit exciting. A <laughs> little bit exciting. Do you feel like it's a lot of pressure to take on, though, you know, being, uh, you know, sort of maybe compared to, you know, to people like Oasis or sort of uh, like an expectation on your shoulders, or is it just, you know, you're along for the ride and it's a lot of fun? I don't even think we sound like Oasis, man. I think... I don't, can't think of a single track that sounds anything like Oasis, but, but yeah, I don't, I don't think he's necessarily talking about the sound. Mm. Talking about the size of the band, basically. But it's not a pressure thing, anyway. If you're being compared to the next Oasis, then it should be easy. Everyone loves Oasis, Absolutely. and the same as everyone will love us. So it's just, a, it's a natural progression, evolution, as it were. Evolution. And uh, I'm the new format of that. If you will. <laughs> just you, not the whole band. Oh, have I got a band, have I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, typical frontman, typical frontman. Yeah. So I hear, um, I hear rumours, little rumours here and there, that there might be uh, a little trip to Australia on the cards. Tell us some more about that. Well, Lewis. <laughs> well, Lewis. So uh, what's Lewis. happening is, well. It's, no, it's, we're still, I suppose, uh, Richie, our manager, we're still in um, negotiation talks, I suppose, at the minute. About the, is it sinister? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, we've not been allowed in the, the talks, I suppose, well, if no. we had been. No. This wouldn't even be on the cards, by <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah. Probably a good thing. Yeah, but hopefully it, it, it comes together and we go. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be going. We'll be going with Alan and Gary. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, awesome. Awesome. So, uh, so I mean, hitting the road with them boys will be a bit, bit of a wreckage, wouldn't it? Dream come true, man. Dream come true. Yeah. You, you yeah. get smashed, though, no? I believe so. I believe so. I reckon it's going to be great for him. Yeah, <laughs> he'll be great for him. Shaking off Alan McGee's eyebrows. <laughs> has he still got eyebrows? Do you know what? I don't think he has. I don't think he's got eyebrows. Well, I'm gonna, totally going to get shot for that. <laughs> Not allowed in the bus, mate. Yeah, that was, that, that's from when he went on tour of Oasis, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, still haven't grown back since. <laughs> so, um, so you did, a, you did a track uh, end of last year, um, Karma, that was, uh, it, it, it was the, the proceeds went to charity to shelter, wasn't it? What was, um, that, that did really well in the iTunes chart and everything. How did, um, how did all that come about? What, the, doing it for the charity? Yeah. Well, I, I guess, um, come around to Christmas time, we, we discussed that maybe we should, because uh, at the moment, obviously, we're not in it for the money, so yeah. it's not really important to us. We thought we should do it for a good cause. We talked about different charities, and obviously at Christmas, homelessness is, uh, is rife. Well, I suppose it's more in the public eye. Yeah. So we thought, do you know what I mean? Whatever we can do, we'll give a little something back, even though we have nothing ourselves. <laughs> but uh, we'll do it again, no yeah. problem. Yeah, we've got really good reviews. Um, the charity was uh, over the moon with the work that we were doing, and, it ha and I suppose it helped both parties in a way. But um, yeah, like I said, we do it again, no problem. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. So I mean, uh, so what does the future hold? I mean, uh, obviously there's you know there's all this weight behind you now, and uh, everything's kind of snowballing. I mean, um, wh where do you see it going for the rest of 2012? I don't know. I think we've just got to keep doing what we're doing, man. I think we've done a fair bit in the last year, man. Just keep going with it, man. Keep. Hopefully, I'd like to say by Christmas, biggest band on the planet. Right. Okay. So you know, quite pretty, uh, pretty modest goals then. I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I'd like to say that, but you know, you never know. So hopefully. <laughs> fair dues, yeah. fair dues. So, um, <clears throat> so you're going to be doing a residency at uh, Death to Disco, not yeah. Arts Club. Um, yeah. Are you excited about that as well? Very excited, man. As Dan always says, one of the um, Ritual always says, uh, you know, the Libertines did a re residency there, right? Again, great to be associated with, man. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a big manoeuvre. Big manoeuvre. Big, big manoeuvre. Do you, do you enjoy playing the night? <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. Yeah. No, I used to go there. That's how I first met Alan McGee, actually. Yeah. And I was chatting to him there. And uh, every night I had there was fantastic. And then to actually be the band that's playing there. We, oh, we did it a couple of times now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was worldy, man. It was just... Sorry, and I can't wait to start doing the residency. It's superb, yeah. yeah. yeah it'll Great be good. night. Fun, man, man. Good Sweatbox. Fun. Sweatbox. That's, that's, what, well, that's what you're like, though. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's, 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 like, uh, it's like here. You know you're at a gig, right, when the fucking... When the dance floor smells of puke. 
True. You, you got it tonight. Because though. I was sick on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, well, there's well, no right. mirrors on stage, is there? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, boys, it's been uh, an absolute ride talking to you. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to the gig and uh, I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you.